everyone, this is Rishi from The Growing Home and we are out here on a beautiful rainy day in Los Angeles. And today I'm going to show you how to install a laundry to landscape gray water system. A gray water system is a way for you to take water that you've used inside your house and bring it out into your garden so that your plants can use that water and can use the nutrients that are in that water. So if you think about your laundry machine, the only thing that you're adding to that water is a little bit of soap. And if we use the right soap, we can turn that soap into fertilizer for our plants. So what I'm going to show you today is how to install that system. It's a system that you don't need a permit for in California, so that's really cool. And it's actually quite affordable. It only costs about $100 in parts to put this thing together. So. We put ours in just about three or four weeks ago. And I want to show you right here. This is the hose that brings the water from our laundry machine out into the landscape. And you can see right here, we have some plants that have sprouted up just from the water from this hose, from our laundry machine. So with, with free reused water, we are now going to be growing some mustard, some radishes, some nasturtiums and and it's also watering our orange tree right here so really cool system um, i'm going to take you through the steps of how we put this together so that you can do it at home all right now this is the uh the setup that we're going to actually put inside the washing room and uh, basically what this does is it allows us to still put the water that's coming out of the drain into the sewer if we wanted to or you know well normally and normally it will be going out to the garden so we keep both options and this you have to do this legally and just because it's a good idea so the main piece that we need here is this this is called a three-way valve um, if you're the inlet is going to be the bottom and then the two sides are the different options for which way the water is going. So right now, if I, when I have it set this way, the water is going to come up through the bottom and go out this way. And then if I change the direction, now the water is going to come up through the bottom and go out this way. So in this setup, um, this side is taking the water into the regular drain, into the sewer drain. And so we have a, a few different pieces here, a threaded one inch PVC fitting, which will go into the three-way valve, and a little piece of PVC tubing, and then some more connectors, which turn the PVC into this uh, dishwasher drain pipe. And this dishwasher drain pipe is flexible and will go into the sewer drain. On the other side, we have uh, this setup here. So the water will, will come um, out this way and then go down the pipe here. And then it'll go through the wall out into the garden. The other funny thing you'll see here is this piece which is called a Studer vent. This allows air into the pipe system and makes sure that there is suction so the water goes out. If you don't put this, you will break your washing machine. So make sure you get one of these. Uh, this is about five or six dollars at Home Depot. The three-way valve is somewhere between thirty and fifty dollars and you'll need to order it online or find some specialty uh, plumbing supply store and then to actually bring the water into the three-way valve we have another hose to a threaded PVC connector which will come into here so we're gonna put this all together out here and then uh, we're gonna mount it onto the wall inside the washing me ma the washing machine room and we'll show you what it looks like there Okay, so to glue the PVC pieces together, you're gonna use this uh, Christie's Red Hot Blue Glue. Um, you can see Gretchen is, she's gonna 
put a little bit of the glue around the edge of the, of the inside pipe and she's filled up the uh, female fitting on the inside. So you gotta glue both sides just like that and then just stick them together and it should slide in very easily and yeah, have something underneath because this stuff will stick to anything and try not to touch it and breathe too much. <laughs> it's very toxic. <laughs>
Wilson. Okay, so that's uh, that's that. Now we're gonna attach the laundry machine's drain pipe to the inlet over here. Do we have the hose clamp? Uh, we're using these uh, steel hose clamps to, to tighten it. So I'm gonna put that over, and then stick this guy on. And I will tighten that um, once we're sure everything is together correctly. Uh, oh, the other one I did need to do is um, we need to clamp the sewer, that rubber hose that we j just stuck in there. So I'll put this around. And again, I'll tighten that once we're, we're sure everything is set. So that's uh, everything in here. And now we're going to connect on the outside to the pipe so that we can get into the garden. Okay, so you can see the pipe is through the wall here. And we've dug out this trench. It comes starting at the wall. It's going to go along our walkway, uh, our entryway. And then we actually tunneled under the walkway and it's going to go into the garden uh, to the right of the walkway. So now we're going to glue all these pipes together, connect it to the pipe that's coming out of the wall, and we'll pretty much be set up. So we already showed you how to glue PVC. That's the same thing we're going to be doing here, but just with the long length of the pipe rather than the short one. here is going to convert the PVC pipe to a hose connection. So we can actually just uh, screw a hose right in here and then we can take move the hose around wherever we want the water to flow out to. So we're just going to do that, cover the pipe up, and that'll be it. <laughs> pieces together yeah. and I got my hose out here um, normally you put the you'll put a, a male connector on the end here for the hose but we purposely put the opposite one 
so that no one can ever put a, put anything on here which would constrict the flow. So, so, uh, so I'm just gonna hook this in here. This screws on, and now I can take this hose out. Let's take it to the orange tree. And now when we wash, wash our clothes, we'll be watering the orange tree. So we're just gonna cover this back up with, uh, with the soil and give it a test run. All right, so the very final step before we turn the dish, the, not the dishwasher, the washing machine on, I am going to tighten up our hose clamps here. Just a flathead screwdriver. And I'm tightening these steel clamps that I showed you earlier. Get it nice and tight. Um, you know, because there's not much pressure coming out of the dishwasher, you know, you don't have to have this super, super tight because it's it's there's really no way that it's going to blow apart. This is already quite strong with just the the rubber end on here, but you know, just as a, just in case, we're using these clamps and tightening those up. But yeah, you don't need to force it just as much as it'll go without too much effort. All right, so I'll stop right there. And now we're gonna turn it on. Oh, we're starting the machine, putting the dishwasher, the, <laughs> the detergent in. Um, the detergent we're using is this Ecos brand dishwasher, uh, not dishwasher, laundry detergent. And if you read on here, it actually says on the back, um, low sudsing, high efficiency, septic safe, gray water safe, gray water safe. And this is the only brand that I found at our local health food store that said gray water safe. So that's the one we got. And we filled it up. And let's turn this sucker on. All right, so the washing machine has been running, and here is our gray water watering the orange tree. So you can see there's not much pressure coming out of there. I can feel the, the hose is a little warm. And that's it, we know it's working, so we can bury the pipes now. <laughs>